let's quickly shift to another part of the world, and that is Venezuela. Venezuela had, over the weekend, its elections, uh, where Maduro ran against a uh, Maduro, who's been dictator. Um, uh, he, he basically uh, replaced uh, Chavez uh, and uh, has been ruling Venezuela with an iron fist since then. Uh, in the election, uh, the election was held over the weekend. The opposition candidate claims he won by 65 percent. He got 65 percent of the vote or more. Uh, Maduro claims he won and he claims he got 51.5 percent of the vote. Pretty much everybody in the world thinks Maduro lost. Pretty much everybody in the world thinks there was massive fraud. Uh, and we're now at a kind of a stalemate where the, the um, uh, opposition in Venezuela has declared itself the winner. Maduro has declared himself the winner. And Maduro controls the military. Uh, therefore, Maduro is the winner. And I mean, I think the real travesty here is that anybody ever thought that the outcome would be any different? Why anybody agreed to participate in this bizarre uh, uh, form of uh, sanctioning uh, the dictatorship of Maduro? Why anybody sent election monitors as if anybody would care about what they said? Uh, it, it, this, is, this is just a game the dictators play, and they pretend that they have election to get some kind of pseudo-legitimacy and uh, uh, so unless there's a civil war in uh, Venezuela, unless the opposition is actually willing to go out into the streets and fight, and we're, we're talking about fight the military, nothing will change in Venezuela. Uh, so far, we've had, what, 30 years of, of, of socialist insanity in Venezuela. The opposition has not shown a willingness to actually actually overthrow the government, even though they have a majority of the people behind them, even though the dictatorship of Maduro and Chavez before him, and particularly now, is not popular. Uh, the people are not willing to actually engage in violence in order to upend it. And this, I just don't see how this dictatorship ends without the willingness of the people to go out into the street and to risk the wrath of the Venezuelan military to test whether the military will actually shoot or to actually engage in armed rebellion, uh, it's, it's, it's not clear. So the situation in Venezuela is very sad. Um, it, you know, Venezuela is this potential, could be this amazing uh, country. It has uh, some of the world's largest reserves of oil and natural gas. I think the world's largest reserves of oil and one of the world's largest reserves of natural, natural gas. Uh, it, it could be a rich country uh, it, with a little bit of freedom. There are a lot of Venezuelans now who live in the United States. Uh, million, uh, I think over a million who live in Colombia uh, and other refugees all over Latin America. I know a bunch of them have gone to Chile. Uh, and uh, and, and it, it's, it's sad. It's sad. Uh, uh, a lesson, a real concrete 21st century lesson in what socialism does to a people, socialism does to a country, socialism does to, a, to, to the welfare of, um, of individuals. So um, let's hope, let's hope that the people find a way to overthrow this regime.